What's better, drinking some Coke or squeezing a big squishy can? Eating ice cream or crumpling a giant soft cone? Enjoying a maxi Barney or playing with a huge squishy teddy bear? Check out a battle between squishy giants and real food in our new video. Vicky doesn't know what to do with her time today. At last, she turns on her laptop. There's an interesting show playing. Elfie tells the audience about her favorite food. And on top of the list, there is certainly Coca-Cola with a very soft flavor. Fasten a piece of thick foam rubber to make a tube. Cut two foam circles to be of the same size as the inside diameter of the tube. Attach and glue the circle at one end. Fill the cylinder with beanbag filling. Cover the top with the other foam circle. Make a case from red stretchy fabric and put it onto the foam rubber can. Make cuts around the edges and hot glue. Fasten a stencil of a Coca-Cola logo with painter's tape. Paint the logo with acrylic paint. Add details to the can using a brush. Attach silver felt to the top and the bottom. Hot glue a cord of a suitable shade to the edges. Cut a pull tab from silver cardboard. Hot glue a felt plug and attach the pull tab on top of the can. Vicky wants a squishy Coca-Cola too. Elfie hands her a can right from the screen, but the squishy can turned into a regular soda while teleporting. This is not what Vicky hoped for. Elfie's power of mind suddenly brings her to Vicky's home and she takes the soft squishy along with her. She's so lucky, but Elfie doesn't want to share her giant Coke. Here is the battle. What's better, giant squishy or real food? Vicky and Elfie can't decide which food is better, real or squishy. An expert should assist us. Elfie calls Miss Gonzalez. The executive chef of the magical restaurant will definitely be of great help. She has already cooked her first dish. For starters, let's compare salads. Draw a cucumber pattern on round makeup sponges. Coat them with fabric paint. Cut two rings out of cardboard. Wrap red acrylic knitting yarn around them. Cut the yard along the perimeter of the ring to get a pom-pom. Fasten the center of the pom-pom with a thread and tie a knot. Trim the pom-pom. This will be a soft tomato. Cut lettuce leaves from a soft foam sheet and slightly darker arugula leaves. Stretch out the lettuce with your fingers to make it textured and more realistic. Cut memory foam into cubes. Color them with fabric paint to be of the same color as cheese. Cut rings of black olives from a black foam rubber sheet. Put all the ingredients of the soft salad together. Miss Gonzalez mixed up the dishes. Vicky gets Elfie's soft salad. And what is she supposed to do with it? Miss Gonzalez doesn't let it trip her up. She was taught how to juggle tomatoes in her circus cooking school. This salad is soft and satisfying, but it's not edible at all. Vicky quietly replaces the plates. Let Elfie have fun with these bright pom-poms. The real salad wins. The score is one to zero. Miss Gonzalez brings in the main course. It's pasta with mushrooms, a regular one for Vicky, and amazing squishy for Elfie. Cut building insulation into long strips that are half an inch wide. Roll them to make them look like pasta nests. Cut old squishy mushrooms in half. Coat them with fabric paints. Cut green leaves from a soft foam sheet. Put the green leaves and the mushrooms into the pasta nests. Elfie starts playing with her food right away. What a restless little thing she is. Vicky can't even eat in peace and quiet. 
She ties Elfie up with the soft pasta. But it won't stop this big-eared creature. She can even have fun with her hands tied up. Vicky also loves these squishy mushrooms. How cute is that? Squishies win in this round. The score is one to one. Elfie has brought an enormous ice cream. Come on, Vicky, leave your tablet alone and check out my giant squishy instead. Take a piece of a yoga mat and attach a foam rubber sheet to one side. Draw slanted lines to create a checkered pattern. Trace the pattern with hot glue and cover it with acrylic paint to be of the same color as a waffle. Add details with a brush. Fill a balloon with cornstarch using a funnel. Tie it and cut off the tail. Make three balls of pastel shades. Fasten the soft waffle to make a cone. Cover the visible corner with a foam rubber sheet and coat it with acrylic paint. Put the squishy scoops of ice cream inside. Vicky wants to take a photo of the giant squishy, but once she focuses her camera, it turns into a regular ice cream cone. This must be movie magic or something. Vicky can't solve this mystery. Elfie has something to do with this ice cream trick. And while Vicky is enjoying her delicious ice cream, Elfie gets her squishy. This is so much fun. Even the biggest squishies pop from Elfie's insane energy. Soft ice cream wins in this round. The score is squishy too. Real food won. Tea time. Vicky saved up a treat. It's Barney Bear. But Elfie is catching up. Once she sees her friend's bear, she conjures one for herself. Except that it's 10 times bigger and made from softness. Cut a template of a big Barney from cardboard. Cut a silhouette from memory foam tracing the template. Cut out some parts of its body to add dimension and coat them with gold spray paint. Color the bear with brown rubber paint. Hot glue paws a nose and feet to the body. Draw eyes and a mouth. Attach eyes and a belly button made from a black foam rubber sheet. Make a package from a big piece of blue paper. Attach a big Barney label to it. Put the squishy bear inside. Fasten it with double-sided tape and cut the edges to make a zigzag. Elfie gets out a giant squishy Barney. It's so cute! Its cute paws and ears are so huggable. Resisting this adorable bear is futile. Vicky can't help herself. Now she also wants a giant Barney. Vicky can't do squishy magic, but she can conjure a giant edible bear. Whip four eggs. Add seven ounces of sugar. Keep whipping until you make a puffy foam. Put in seven ounces of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. Mix the sponge batter carefully. Separate some batter. Put in one tablespoon of cocoa powder and stir. Sprinkle a silicone bear mold with some flour. Pour the chocolate batter into the paws. Pour the rest of the batter on top. Bake it for 40 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Mix five ounces of milk caramel spread with one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Make a hole for the filling in the sponge bear. Stuff Barney with the spread using a confectionery bag. Cover the hole with the sponge cutout. Fasten an A2 piece of paper to make a tube. Use double-sided tape. Put the bear on the parchment paper inside. Fasten the edges. Attach a Barney label. Cut the edges to make a zigzag. We wonder if Vicky's cooking spell worked. She opens the package. This big Barney looks delicious. Elfie wants to try it too. Help yourself. This giant Barney will be enough for everyone. Each girl gets an ear. Sweet Barney wins. It's a tie, two to two. Vicky finds some Ritter Sport. She's looking forward to enjoying this treat. 
But Vicky hears strange noises all of a sudden. Who's there? It's Elfie! She came once she smelled chocolate. She begs for some chocolate. But elves are not allowed to eat that many sweets. Otherwise, their ears will get bigger. Then Elfie opens a portal to the land of the elves. She's ready to trade. What does Vicky want in return for chocolate? A magical flower? No. Or maybe a giant squishy chocolate bar. Cut a sponge to make a square. And hot glue sponge squares to a yoga mat. Coat it with brown rubber paint. Make a package from colored paper. Attach a big Ritter Sport label. Put the soft bar of chocolate inside. Hot glue the package closed. Cut the edges to make a zigzag. Elfie tears the package apart. There it is! A giant squishy Ritter Sport! It's very soft and doesn't even have a single calorie. Elfie suddenly disappears. She has some elf work to do, but she leaves a big bar of chocolate to remember her by. And Vicky will be looking forward to the next time they meet. And giant squishies win in our battle! Did you like our giant squishy food? Then write in the comments which maxi squishy you would like to play with. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new giant squishies on Troom Troom.